Hi guys, in this video, we're going to look at preparation of lead iodide. We are looking at the preparation of salts and there are two types of salts which you need to know how to prepare. These are soluble salts and insoluble salts. In order to determine what method must be used in the preparation of a salt, you must be able to identify if that salt will be soluble or insoluble in aqueous solution. Our salt to be prepared is a lead iodide. Lead iodide is an insoluble salt in aqueous solution. As such, the method which is used to prepare the salt is called ionic precipitation. Right, this is the only method used where an insoluble salt is to be prepared. In ionic precipitation, in order to form an insoluble salt, we would mix together two solutions of soluble salts. As seen in this diagram, we would mix potassium iodide and lead nitrate. These are our two solutions to be mixed together. And in the method, we must mention the volumes and concentrations of the solutions to be used. Now you can go ahead and use a standard volume of 100 cm cube of one molar potassium iodide and even the same amount of lead nitrate. All right, so we're keeping it standard in terms of the amounts and the concentrations of the solutions that we will mix. In our first step, we have identified the two solutions that we are going to mix, and we should also identify what each solution is supplying. For example, potassium iodide supplies the anion, and lead nitrate supplies the cation. In our next step, after having added the two solutions together, we would filter. And this is because on mixing the two solutions together, whether it's with a stirring rod or just mixing them together by adding them together, lead iodide would form and this is our insoluble salt. Our insoluble salt having formed, we would need to filter as seen in the third diagram here. And we filter in order to obtain the lead iodide. In talking about filtration, you must mention what we do with the residue versus the filtrate. So we would filter collect the residue right? and you can mention that we discard the filtry. Now the precipitate to be formed, which is lead iodide, will remain as a residue on the filter paper. You can see that lead iodide is a bright yellow solid and you should take note of the color. I will write the equation which shows the formation of lead iodide. But before I do, we want to 
wrap up our very short method by talking about what else must we do with our residue slash precipitate. The residue of precipitate, which is on the filter paper, must be washed and we wash with a minimal amount of cold distilled water in order to remove any impurities and we can dry right with pieces of filter paper or you can even leave it to dry but that is air dry Right, so we can wash with a minimal amount of cold distilled water and dry between pieces of filter paper. And this is our very short, simple method for preparing lead iodide. Last but not least, I will write the ionic equation which shows the formation of lead iodide. You should also be able to write this ionic equation in addition to a balanced chemical equation and be able to state the color of lead iodide. Right, and this is my short video on the preparation of lead iodide.